आर वी एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन शिवानंद शर्मा मेमोरियल आर वी कॉलेज वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड आई एस आर इनिशिएटिव इन दिस कनेक्शन आई प्रोफेसर दिव्या एन ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हैज पोस्टेड वीडियो ऑन द सब्जेक्ट इंटरनेशनल फिनांस एंड द टॉपिक इकोनॉमिक एक्सपोजर काइंडली वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू Economic exposure is one of the exposures under foreign exposures, with the transaction exposure and translation exposure. Exposure talks about the extent of a particular risk occurred, or what are the effects of a particular risk occurrence. Under this exposure, the companies will get to know to what extent they will be affected if there is any change in the economic environment for example the economic environment includes the policies made by the government the change in the governance the changes in the tax rate slabs the changes in the interest rate slabs then uh, policies pertaining to export and import how the companies are going to be affected if there is any change in these policies It also includes the various factors in the economic environment, such as the GDP rate, then the balance of payments, then the national income. What is the amount of uh, transactions a particular country has with its foreign country? So all these factors also determine the foreign exchange rate. So to define economic exposure is the extent to which the economic value of a company can decline due to the changes in economic rate. so economic value of a company is nothing but the economic value of a company means the value of company in terms of its share price in terms of its market value in terms of the goodwill it holds in the market in terms of where it stands amongst its competitors and till what time will the company be able to earn profit or the margin profit etc how to measure the economic exposure a firm can assess its economic exposure by determining the sensitivity of its expenses and revenues to various possible exchange rate scenarios and how will it reduce the economic exposure by restructuring its operations to balance its exchange rate sensitive cash flows so basically using a spreadsheet or any other medium the company will list out all its expenses and revenues that is the payables and receivables in various exchange rate scenarios so it will check on the different rate scenarios or it will check on what will be its receivables and payables when the exchange rates are different so using that technique they will see what is the best way to reduce their expenses or increase their revenue to manage with the fluctuations in exchange rate let's learn what are the different ways the mnc can manage its economic exposure so depending upon the fluctuation in the foreign exchange rate the company can list out various scenarios and see what is at what is the best action the company can consider at the given fluctuation or at the given exchange rate so these are the possible ways either the company can increase or reduce sales in new or existing foreign markets increasing or reducing dependency on foreign suppliers if the exchange rate of the foreign country is too high the company can opt for the suppliers in its home country or the local market next establishing or eliminating production facilities in foreign markets so you people know that the one of the ways to enter international markets or international business is by by placing its production facilities in the foreign market where it can get uh, probably it is uh, the production facility is near to the local market where they get their raw materials or the production facility can access the human resource in that particular uh, country or the skilled laborers of that particular country so if the foreign exchange rates are not suitable for the company's financial planning they can establish or eliminate production facility in foreign markets and the last one is to either increase or reduce the level of debt denominated in foreign currencies that is if the company has borrowed loan from any other country's bank or any other foreign currencies depending upon the exchange rates they can either 
adopt for the foreign currency loans or they can borrow loans in their own home country currency this way any mnc can reduce or eliminate economic exposure thank you for watching